No doubt you wonder why you have to appear in court every few weeks just to sign a piece of paper that resets your court date and then you have to go back a few weeks later and do it all over again. In this video, I'll explain to you why that happens and it's not for the reason you might think. Hello folks, I'm Andrew Williams and this is another edition of the Fedora Lawyer. I'm a board certified criminal defense attorney with 28 years of trial practice behind me. On this channel, I share my years of experience with you to give you a better understanding of the law. Now, the reason your court date keeps getting reset is because your case is filed based on what is known as probable cause. And probable cause is just enough evidence to get you arrested. And most times, the evidence that your lawyer needs to represent you properly is not available right away. So your lawyer can't make a good decision on how to defend your case and you definitely don't want your lawyer to advise you about your case without knowing all the facts. Just like you don't want your doctor to treat you for an illness until he is sure what ails you. Now, of course, some cases are pretty straightforward and they move right along, like a shoplifting case where there's a video of a person taking something from the store and heading out the front door without paying for it. Everything is on the video, it's very straightforward, and there's very little to argue about. Those types of cases really move right along. However, most cases take much more time than that. There might be dash cam videos, body cam videos, police officers on the scene making reports. There might be videos from other sources that you're not aware of at the time. These things need to be collected as well as talking to witnesses. They must be interviewed and sometimes there's forensic testing that has to be done and all of this takes time. Also, your lawyer has to get much of this evidence and information from the prosecutor. And a lot of times the evidence is not yet in the hands of the prosecutor in order for the prosecutor to hand it over to your attorney. Not only does your lawyer need to collect evidence from the prosecutor, he has to do his own investigation. He can't just depend on what the prosecutor gives you. Also, if your attorney is having trouble getting evidence from the prosecutor, the judge can order the prosecutor to hand it over. The judge of the court in your case is the one who monitors the progress of the case to make sure it doesn't just linger on the docket indefinitely. The only way the court can keep track of the progress of each case is to continue to have court dates so your lawyer and the prosecutor can give the judge an update of the progress on the case. Now, most times your attorney can appear and explain to the judge how the case is progressing. Unfortunately, some judges require you to appear in court every time there's a court date. And that's a shame because most times your presence is not needed at all because nothing's gonna happen. And this causes a lot of stress and anxiety to you because you have to arrange to get off work over and over again. You have to arrange for childcare maybe, transportation to and from court. Not only that, it also causes lawyers a lot of lost time that could be used working on your case and doing investigation. And they have to take time out to go and advise the judge exactly what's going on. This could easily be done by Zoom or some other method. Unfortunately, judges don't see it that way. And that's why your case keeps getting reset over and over again. It's not your lawyer just being lazy. Trust me, lawyers hate it just as much as you do. All right, well, that's the reason your case gets reset over and over. I hope this gives you a better understanding of why that's happening. If this video was helpful and informative, hit the like button for me. If it wasn't, let me know that too so I can change it up. If you want more legal information like this, you can also hit that subscribe button. Now I'm planning on continuing to create videos just like this to provide you with practical and useful information about uh, legal issues of all types. You can also visit my website at andrewwilliamslaw.com. For now, this is the Fedora Lawyer signing off.